Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Lori Candle Lover. Going to do another Goose Creek candle review, and today we are doing sweet tea. And um, I'm melting with my candle um, bottom melter today, just because um, my lamp bulb burnt out. But um, I like to um, usually do my reviews with the candle lamp top warmer, um, and um, I want to give you guys an idea. Some people are curious about using um, bottom warmers. So um, I wanted to show you guys an example of why I prefer not to use bottom warmers unless the candle is really low and it's too far away from the wax, uh, or the top lamp to melt the wax, or I'm in and out and I don't want to burn it because this is what happens um, when you use a bottom warmer. Number one, you have to pretty much melt the whole candle to get it to throw because otherwise the scent is trapped underneath the cold wax on top so you have to melt the whole candle this is a brand new uh two wick 24 ounce jar also as you can see my wicks have moved and they were laying kind of crosswise and so i actually used something to move them to the sides because they were actually started to float and uh that's what one of the things that happens when you use a bottom warmer is um, your wicks can detach from the bottom of the jar and they get dispositioned and it's really hard to um, get them back into position when the wax is cooling so that you can ever burn it and if your wicks are in the wrong spot like uh, especially close to the outside of the jar like they are now they're resting on the outside so I could uh, move them easier get a hold of them um, it just can be a hazard if your wicks are in the wrong position and you try to burn them so this is just an example of why I prefer top lamps. Um, top lamps, the wax, um, as it melts, the wicks can fall over as you're um, removing wax off the top of the candle or pouring it off. Sometimes, a lot of times we use like the cotton balls to soak up the top layer as this, the scent dissipates. Um, but it's a lot easier to keep your wicks in the right position on the bottom of the jar because you're not melting the bottom of the jar. You're only melting the top layers as you go in. So if you ever want to burn your candle after you use a top melter, then you can trim your wicks and you can make sure they're in the proper position and hold them upright as they cool. And, and I've done that many times and I've burned my candles after I've used a top lamp uh, because I just took care of the wicks and make sure that they were shorter, short as I was removing wax. I trim them down a little bit so they weren't flopping over. But I never had a problem with them moving unless it was very, very bottom of the jar and then I would use the bottom melter. Um, but when you use a bottom melter from a, for a full jar, most of the time your wicks will detach and move and then you have a hard time ever burning them after you've used the bottom melter. Plus it, it heats all the oil up and it dissipates faster. So that's just an example of what happens when you use a wax uh, melter on the bottom or a wax or a candle crock that melts from the bottom. So now on to scent notes. We have tea leaves, warm honey, peach nectar, sugar, sparkling grapefruit, and lemon zest. So with this candle, um, I get definitely the tea leaves, like the iced tea, tea leaves scent. Uh, warm honey, I get some sweetness, maybe a little peach nectar, which I love um, peach tea, like caffeine-free peach tea, like with a, like the little um, packets that are like five calories or whatever. Smells like so perfectly like peach tea or iced tea. Um, sugar, sparkling grapefruit, lemon zest. I do get a hint of lemon in there. It's not a really citrusy scent. It's not a real strong um, lemon scent, but I can see hints of that in there for sure. And um, this, you know, I've, this is my first iced tea type candle and I actually really like it. It's got a decent throw. It's got enough sweetness where it doesn't have like that bitter tea leaf scent. Um, and it's got some citrus in there. I can smell. It really does smell like, albeit warm, because it's a warm, warm wax. But it smells like sweet, slightly lemony iced tea. Um, not real super peachy, which I do love peach uh, iced tea, decaffeinated peach iced tea, because I'm not about 
getting hyper on the caffeine, but um, I do I definitely get some of that essence in there. And I'd say, it's hard to say melting it this way. Um, it's about a seven and a half. Burning it or top lamp might be different. Even though I've melted the whole thing, you would think it'd be really strong. But I don't find that melting them like this really makes them super strong. Um, but uh, yeah, it's a nice candle and I love the color. It's beautiful. Kind of a golden amber color. That's so nice. So yeah, I, I give this one a thumbs up. And if you like, you know, iced tea type scent if that's something you think that might be interesting for you I would I would give it a try and there's a lot of sales going on uh right now so I would I would give it a try because this one's a pretty nice one if you're into you know this type of scent and um I don't know if I'll buy another one per se but it's definitely one that I'll probably uh, burn this summer um that seems to me like that would fit more i'm a i'm a seasonal candle burning type person in general sometimes i have favorites that i'll burn randomly any time of year but for season wise this would be a great summer candle but you know obviously you could burn any time of year so hopefully this is helpful to you like and subscribe and we will see you guys again really soon thanks have a great day Bye bye